Firstly, we will talk about the two metaphors of learning and then compare which metaphor best fits our beliefs about learning. The first metaphor is the acquisition metaphor of learning and there are a number of assumptions about it. The learner is referred to as an empty vessel or a bank where knowledge is deposited. The learner receives knowledge over time and combines concepts. The learner processes his thoughts alone. Knowledge is transferred to the learner and knowledge is considered as static. The second metaphor is the participation metaphor of learning. This suggests partaking in some sort of action. First, we assume that context is important for learning. Second, learning is social. We need to interact with others and the things around us in order to learn. Hence, knowledge is thought to be ever-changing and we co-create it with others. Where would you place yourself on the continuum if we had the two metaphors on each end? Don't put yourself in the middle. If you're using words like learn to acquire the knowledge, then you're leaning more towards the acquisition end of the continuum. If you're using words like sharing, dialogue, discussion and problem solving, you're leaning more towards the participation end of the continuum. Let's pause for a moment for a little reflection. Why did you place yourself where you did? What were the questions you asked yourself during the decision-making of the placing on the continuum? Write down your questions so that you can share them in the discussion thread. So what do the two metaphors mean for workplace learning? In this diagram, we talk about the different roles of the learner and what we loosely call teacher in relation to the metaphors within the workplace context. The teacher we're referring to can be a buddy, a mentor, a coach or someone regarded as an expert and the different roles they take on are based on whether they are acting from the acquisition metaphor or the participation metaphor. The same goes for the learner. For the teacher acting on the acquisition metaphor, they tend to take on the responsibility for motivating learners and they consider themselves to be an expert. Therefore, for the learners, their part is to be passive, to listen and follow instructions. If they're acting on the participation metaphor, the learners are active learners and they are responsible for their own motivation. They develop learning to learn skills and are proactive in problem solving. They draw from their own knowledge and experience and are constantly evaluating their work as well as others. For the teachers, they act like resources for learners to build on what they already know. They reinforce learning through dialogue, reflection, interacting with others as well as what's in the environment. So what does this mean for workplace learning? Because learning is a productive part of everyday work embedded in the culture, structures, relationships and processes of the workplace, the participation metaphor is more appropriate than the acquisition metaphor for learning. By now, hopefully you've identified your beliefs as either more towards the acquisition metaphor or the participation metaphor of learning at this point of time. But it may change. Here's the summary. The acquisition metaphor of learning means that the learners are provided with the information by the teachers who are responsible for learning. The participation metaphor of learning means that the learners learn from their own experiences. Learning is social and it requires interaction among people and being engaged in the work. This means that the learners are the ones responsible for their own learning. At the end of the day, adult learners always surprise us with what they know and can do.